What's up, duelers? It's Nerp here, and I made S rank. S rank number five, actually, so that's pretty cool to uh, be the fifth best rated player in the world for the month of July so far. And right now, I'm going to play my second S rank game. And I'll play Lionar because. I did give you guys last rank video, Magmar, or the match before that, um, Vitruvian, and then I was doing a lot of uh, Vanar before that. So let's go back to Lionar, which I've been having probably the most success with out of all those decks. Um, I started at S rank 10 when I got to S rank, and then one win, uh, Vault Me to 5. But that was, uh, that was much earlier today than I'm recording this, so like other people may have joined me in S rank um, so a win here could just show us moving down and in case you didn't catch my duelist stream I did stream on twitch for a couple hours the VOD is uploaded to the uh, NERP streams YouTube channel you find a link to it on, on the sidebar of my channel and uh, that is the stream I actually got to S rank in so I went from rank 1 to S rank uh, in that stream and also did a pretty disappointing gauntlet run and you know when you run out of things to say in the beginning of a little video intro it's annoying because <laughs> then the game needs to start I guess there's not a lot of players that are uh, diamond right now or S rank playing so it's taking a while to find a match okay here we go we're going to play some Vanar against Silvermist. Um, I'm going second so I can play my 2-2 two, two drops. Uh, Adept and Alliant is great. I'll get rid of a Healing Mystic. And... Mm, that's tough. That's a tough uh, replace with the Arc Light. Tempest is a great thing to hold on to against Vanar, especially for the first turn because of uh, them filling up the board with Provoke Walls. So I'm going to have to keep those three cards. So if he fills up the board with Paroke, I use Tempest. If he doesn't, I have a great turn one play. Um, and unfortunately, I didn't get uh, a good four drop like a deal toss to play turn two or maybe a, someone else. Okay, so this plays that turn one. Okay, in that case, I'll play both of these, I guess. Um, get rid of the Elix. Now... How do I want to do this? I can go with a wind blade, but then he can. What's annoying is the hearth sister can just trade with the wind blade. Um, that is kind of annoying. If I go with the line in front, then hearth sister can trade with it also. I guess the line's more valuable, so we're gonna go with the wind blade in front. Wish that was more like a primus fist or something. And then I will actually put this lion. All the way back here. Actually, I'll put it here. I always do this kind of formation here to start games. Whoops, didn't mean to mute you. Are you muted now? Crap. I think I just muted Silver Mist. Didn't mean to do that. Well, won't get it. Won't get the good luck. Have fun back then. Okay. It's gonna kill that. Um, so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to get to uh, 5 mana next turn, but I didn't really have a play to do unless he played a Promise Shield Master. Okay, so that's that then. Not a huge uh, turn. Now here I'll get rid of the Tempest now. And I think I'm just going to Silver Guard Knight. Can't really... Play the Arclight Regalia with no minion on the board, I don't think. Because then it just gives them opportunities to fill up the board. Which I guess Tempest would be good for then, but I replace that. Okay, now play your Primus Shield Master. I know a lot of people are running Primus Shield Master on ladder right now. Everybody besides basically Lion Arby's, they have better provoke units. But everybody else seems to be running Primus. Okay, this is a Mechazord deck. Okay. Well then. Mechazor, um, could 
give this one more attack to kill that, but I think I'd rather get rid of it with an arc light. So could play the healing mystic down here. I play the I'll hold on to the hollow grove people one more turn. Um I'll get rid of the healing mystic, I think. Okay, now I can do this then. Let's do this. Play the lion down here. Arclight Regalia. Punch there. And punch here. The reason I changed my mind when I drew the lion is because otherwise I would be giving this 5 attack to deal damage there, but now I have my Bloodborne spell ready for next turn. I could put it on the lion. Um, hopefully he doesn't have uh, another another what's it called cryogenesis this card just reminds me of burn in scrolls so much such a strong card just so much value four damage is a lot of damage it does actually cost one less than burn and deals one more damage and you draw a card every time you play not when you just not just when you destroy a creature so yeah, that would actually hurt me a lot this turn because you can get rid of that and then weaken the line so the celerity is moot. Big games here because you don't want to be losing much ground in S rank. Well, the way that is, I can easily kill it with my general and not take any uh, durability loss on my arc light because it's uh, less than three attack. Helm. Well. This is not going too well now. I am kind of weak to Mechazord X. That is one thing that it's tough for me to deal with. I am kind of weak. Now, can I... How much damage I can deal to face this turn? If I give this roar, that's 8 plus 3 is 11. I can get you down to 5 this turn. Um, is that what I want to do, though? He's only one... Car uh, play away from Mechazor. I'll get rid of the Hollow Grove Keeper. It doesn't look like he's playing a Primus. Ugh, this is a tough draw. Oh, actually, wait. Do I have lethal? I, I just don't have the Divine Bond. Wait, if I make this 5 attack, 7 attack, that's just 14. Oh, that's going to be game. Well, that was fast. It's always nice having a, a Tiger ready to go. So, you're going to do... Yep. It's lethal because that deals 14 plus 7 is 21, and so I do more than enough damage. I didn't even realize I had the divine bottom my, in my hand for a while there, and that was only eight minutes, so I went up one point to four. And looks like we can fit another game in this video. Um, like me being four right now does not mean that I could just stop playing the rest of the season and I'd be number four still because. It's, I think it's like an ELO rating system where uh, it's very early on in the season so people will pass me. So I have to uh, keep on playing every so often. But now that I'm Master Rank, I definitely will probably do more uh, Gauntlet on my own time. But my Gauntlet videos don't seem to get as many views as my Rank videos. I guess that's not as interesting. That was also a thing when I did uh, Judgment videos and Scrolls. I never got as many views as my Ranked videos. I guess people watch me for the Ranked videos. Yeah, but this Lion Art deck seems very, uh, very ideal right now. The meta current meta has a lot of Magmar and Lion Art and a lot of Primus Shield Masters. So, Hollow Grove Keeper is a great uh, addition. Um, and everything else seems to be working out pretty well. The only thing I might uh, try to do is maybe try to add in a couple, uh, one more Tempest to have a third. Uh, maybe add one more Sunbloom to have a third. But I actually had a tip from somebody, I forgot who, uh, on stream told me that. Uh, my deck clearly has the most trouble with Songhai. I tend to lose to Songhai the most of any faction, um, but a couple uh, Aegis Barriers could do the trick and Songhai would have nothing on me. Um, cannot get rid of a Tempest against Lilith. Uh, let's get rid of a... I hate to get rid of a Divine when I have Deal Toss in my hand, but I want minions first. Get rid of the Sworn Sister early on. Sworn Sister is more of a later gameplay. Okay, so I do I just keep this hand? 
I mean, pretty perfect, right? Only thing I wish I had a uh, tiger, I mean, a uh, lion instead here, but I think this is a uh, ideal because Holy Immolation, just because Holy Immolation is one of the best cards in the game. And then in case he like demonic lures this and kills it, um, I still have a three drop to play next turn. If he doesn't, I can play my deal to us. Wraithling Swarm. Or there's that, and that makes me not be able to, uh... And do you have a... Do you have something to destroy that? I wouldn't really mind if he... I would actually be happy if he used a... Okay, okay just Blood Tear Alchemist. Well then. I could Tempest. But then I have no combo with Tempest. I'm gonna get rid of the... Saber Spine Tiger here. Uh, not really an early game play for me. Um, hmm. Well then, this is a interesting spot I'm in. I was not expected to be like pushed off this much on the first turn of the game, which kind of sucks. I guess I'm, I want to keep... I guess I'll do this. Two up there. I don't know, I really don't have to give this its extra attack, right? It's probably better to provoke everything. Okay, let's provoke everything and I will sacrifice my zeal. You don't have the extra attack for right now. Okay, so that wasn't too fun what he did to me, <laughs> so many units. But, I mean, my units are definitely stronger than his. And I was able to clear out uh, half of them. Okay, he plays a deal toss. Okay, well, what to do, what to do, what to do. Holy immolation is a thing. No, I want to get my own deal toss down this turn. Right, that's what I want to do? Yes, I want to get my own deal toss down. And I think I just don't even replace anything because my hand is pretty perfect. I hate not replacing anything. I always feel like there's something better, but there really isn't, I don't think, in this hand. I really don't think there is. So I'll use the Windblade Adept to destroy the deal toss. Um, and then go to work and then play my own deal toss. Okay, so I'll move in. It's not like we need to use our Bloodborne spell this turn. So we kill that see where it spawns because I kind of want to put more damage on that while I can or no I'd rather keep these things provoked and then I'll just punch this should I heal more um let's actually keep that there and let's just play a deal toss down here and I'm not going to punch anything we have double holy immolation. Okay, so next turn I can do stuff with spells or I can play an Ironclad Guardian. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to do multiple things. Black Solace, that is hard for me to get rid of. Uh, well that scares me. Um, I really have nothing, no way to get rid of that. I haven't seen that card in a while. I haven't seen people swarm decks even play it recently. Well, at least this, uh, his, he doesn't have his Bloodborne spell next turn. What do I replace? What do I replace? Okay, it looks like... Okay, there's just, like, no way I'm going to be able to destroy this this turn. So, I guess I can Iron Cliff it. Just so he can't do massive amount of damage to my general. Or I can, or I can put the Iron Cliff down here and know he can't win the game next turn, and then be able to maybe win with the Divine Bond. Yeah, let's do that. That seems like the better play. Uh, I will replace a. You know, I hate to replace a Tempest, but I might do it. Or we can replace nothing. I will replace nothing. 
Okay. So I'm going to deal 5 damage to your face. 2 damage to this tombstone. And... I guess I put it here because I'm provoking both of those. No, I'll split down here. I feel kind of bad I'm running out of the timer like every turn. Okay, we have double uh, Divine Bond. So... Hopefully, we this coming turn. Oh, he did have his his uh his bloodborne spell. I thought I mouse over and it said it didn't activate. Maybe that's like bugged. It's not right. Demonic lure, ouch! And that thing's gonna have a big attack. We need to win. Okay, hopefully, attack on a deal toss because I really need to. Oh god, do I lose? Does he? Does he win? Does he win this turn? Or is he gonna just destroy my uh, my thing? He's gonna destroy my thing. That's smart of him. Now I have no way to do anything. Yeah, that was very uh, very uh, heads up. Because if he attacked first, then I would have lethal this turn. If he attacked my journal first. And now what? Now what is the question? Even though we topped like an elix, we can't even provoke this. We have no provoke in our hand. Now I wish I had replaced last turn. Uh, well, crap. We need. We need. We just need like. There's nothing I can really be saved from right now. Um. I think I'm gonna need uh get rid of one of the divine bonds. Hell, grove keeper. I can't even play it nearby this thing. I can't even tempest with it. Well, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, crap. <laughs> I can't even do anything. Nothing I can do. I can't holler Grokey for that. 6 plus 8, 14. Yeah, he, has even, he even has lethal on the board. That's going to be game. I think. Right? Yeah, I'm not even going to play anything. Nothing even has provoke, yeah. That's that's easily game. Unless he forgets that his like tombstone can attack or something like that. I don't like to uh yeah, it's game. I don't like to like concede early. Because there's always a chance your opponent messes up. Like I don't some people like when you say like you have when you say like well played when you uh, are about to win, some people just like concede right away so that because they don't wanna like see themselves die. Like I lost the game, like <laughs> What's the point of making me go through extra button clicks when uh, the game's gonna end when I lose this way? Okay, we're at 18 minutes. Um, can I fit another game in? I think I can. Down to seven. Okay, let's do this. Kara. Kara, I generally fare well with my Lionar deck against. Um, usually don't need Sun Bloom, and I don't think I'll need that right now either okay not the per oh that's sorry now we have a line i was gonna say this isn't the per the ideal two drop oh, replacing he replaced me at number five um yeah healing mystic is not the ideal turn to play you want to have a line or a wind blade adept okay so good luck have fun sir and i guess i don't need the healing mystic just yet double lion we're gonna play one lion though. And now we hope he doesn't cryogenesis me. Well, I mean, if he does, it's not a huge deal. Because I just move up and play a uh, Silver Guard Knight to provoke him. Blood Tear, Maw. Come on. Ugh, that's gross. Probably shouldn't have even played it up there against Kara, knowing Kara decks. That's actually my fault. Yeah, it's my fault. Gonna get rid of ah. Uh, you know what? Let's get rid of the tiger. So I'm just gonna hit this and then put my provoke dude right in the middle here. Okay. Although that that play he just did seems like it put me back a lot. It's not the it's not the worst thing because he did have to use a couple small minions 
just depleting his hand a little bit and those little minions don't really do a whole lot after they're already in the board I already took out one with my general Spelljammer okay Cryogenesis it's gonna draw him another card and he's gonna kill it with what his general or okay now now I guess I deal to I'll get rid of is the right line now I don't think it's gonna be able to like be played in a safe place hmm I'm tempted to just Regalia and Regalia next turn. Because I can break out of anything. No, I can't do that. I, got, I gotta go. I gotta go with the, uh, with the deal to us. Yeah, that's too ballsy of a play. I have an Elix and this. I probably should have kept the two drop because I need to play multiple things per turn so I can, uh, use this, uh, spell jammer at least a little bit, uh, on my own side. Okay, he already used two cryogenesis, which kind of sucks. Like, I mean, it doesn't suck, it like means that he only has one left, but it sucks that he had two already, I mean. Okay, we have no Divine Bond, though, so. Oh, Zen Rui. Uh-oh. Basically lost this game. I mean, Zen Rui on the, uh, on the Tombstone. That's basically GG. Well... I tend to do very well in my uh, video, in my rank match videos when I'm recording. Uh, I think my win rate is very high in the, uh, my YouTube videos, but I think this one will have one loss, well, two losses and one win. Because I don't see myself getting out of this little jam I'm in right now. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what to do. Not a lot I can do. To keep my provoke, I guess, and I don't. I'm gonna lose out to uh, this thing drawing some stuff. I guess I just provoke as much stuff as I can, stuff as I can. Hopefully, he just hits into everything, and I don't draw another silver guard knight. Well, knock it a surrender. Don't want to. Uh, Don't want to cheat myself out of a lucky win because th there are having games where you just think you're really far behind, but then your opponent makes a misplay and you're able to get like a double divine bond to a win. Like a misposition or something. Um, okay, that's bad because my action bar is already full, so that's basically two cost removal. <laughs> I almost wish Duelist had a bigger action bar. I feel like six is a little small. I think it should be like eight. I mean, scrolls is unlimited, but you have to like make your own resources by getting rid of cards. This you just go up by one resource every turn. But I'm really appreciate I really appreciate the strategy in Duelist with the more complicated board because there's so many more like position styles that uh, could happen every turn. Okay, let's draw a Tempest. I mean, I guess Tempest would be the best thing to draw. Maybe. Yes. No. Hearth Sister. Okay. Tempest to not quite save my life. Get rid of the Elix. I, I think these are better. Nope. That's going to be game, I think. I think so. As long as you can get rid of this, it's game. And if he doesn't, maybe I can get a lucky uh, celerity hit off him. <laughs> Top take a divine bomb. Oh, there I did get a divine bomb. Maybe, just maybe, he does not win the game this turn. He needs one more damage. He has a blood tier. No, he doesn't. He needs. Oh, he has it. He had the tiger. Well, that's two win, two losses, one win in this video, and I move down S rank to 16. Darn, gotta get that back up. 
probably play one more game uh, today to at least get that uh, daily chat, daily trial, daily quest. So thanks for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content. And uh, yeah, if you want to see me get to S rank, go to the Nerp Streams YouTube channel um, where you can watch the VOD of my Twitch stream. And also just follow my Twitch because then you can watch me play live. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.